Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Mass 5th Grade, Module 11, Lesson 5. Let's start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can create a story context for a given equation and use a visual fraction model to represent the quotient. And the learning objective is to write a word problem for a given equation and use a visual fraction model to represent the quotient. In the prior learning, is students explained why A over B is equivalent to a number times A over a number times B using fraction models, and students generated equivalent fractions. Moving into the lesson five on page 283, we have a step it out. Number one says write a word problem that can be modeled by P equals one half divided by four. Then use a visual fraction model to solve the problem. So I went ahead and I said that there was half of a pizza and four family members are sharing that half pizza. So how much does each member of the family get? So for A, there's really not a ton of um, room for me to write, especially because my pen writes a little bit bigger, but I wanted to tell you verbally that's what I chose for my word problem is there's a half a pizza and a family of four is sharing that half pizza. So for B, represent your word problem with a rectangle, and it gives us that rectangle already. So it says divide the rectangle to represent the equation. So I need to start with a half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and split my rectangle right in half. Then I need to take that half and I need to divide it by four. So going the other way, going vertically, I'm gonna make four parts. So if I split it in half and then split that part in half, that'll give me fourths. And then for the second bullet point, it says shade the part to represent the quotient. The quotient is how much each family member gets out of the total amount of pizza, it would be one of the eight. So I, if I was part of the family member, I would be eating one eighth of the total pizza. All right, so C, explain how you used the rectangle. So just put simply into words what we just did with our drawing. So the horizontal, let's start with the vertical. The vertical line is cutting in half because that's what we did first. So a vertical line as my half mark, and then we did the horizontal four lines. So we did four horizontal lines to split by four. All right, and then for D, what fraction of your rectangle represents the quotient? The quotient is the answer, remember? So how much did each family member get? Well, each family member got one eighth. And then E, interpret the quotient in the context of your word problem. I was dealing with pizza, so I would say one eighth of the pizza. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next page, 284. And then we have a step it out problem number two. It says write a word problem for the equation T equals one third divided by two. Then use a visual model to solve and represent the quotient. We're pretty much doing the exact same things, just with different numbers. So for A, write a word problem. Then for B, draw it out. And then for C, interpret the quotient in the context of your problem. So find the answer in your visual model in B, and then just tell me what that meant in your word problem. All right, go ahead and just do those couple questions, and then come back and we'll work them through together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and go over these together. So I decided to go ahead and take the same problem that was in the teacher's edition, and it was talking about a car with a tank of gas. So the one third is the tank of gas. So I said, and I, again, don't have very much room, but if a car uses one third of a tank, and then I put the two as time. So I put in two hours, how much is used per hour? How much per hour? All right, now for B, now I want to draw it. And I'm just gonna draw it over to the right here and use my rectangle. 
So I know that the first part is cut into thirds. So my vertical line is gonna be taking care of the one third first. So if I cut it into thirds, like this, then I need to divide it by two. So going the other way, I can divide it in half. And that would give me six portions. Your visual model should have six portions because we're already given the equation one third and two. So you should have six portions in your visual model. But for C, it might be a little bit different. Interpret the quotient in the context of your problem. So I know that it would be one sixth of a tank. For me, I use the tank of gas. So for you should have one sixth of whatever you decided your word problem was going to be about. But mine is one sixth of a tank of gas per hour. And that per hour really does matter in this problem. All right, super fast lesson today. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I'll see you back for module 11, lesson six.